day 25 workshop wasteland tricks or treats this is going to be the final trick that i'm going to share in this video series that i've coined tricks or treats kind of fits the theme i suppose fits the season if you will and uh hopefully you've enjoyed all of this along the way i've shared lots of 3d printing content machining content a little bit of small engine repair among many many other things if you haven't checked out all of those videos the playlist is going to be up here somewhere. You ought to go back and watch them all. I'm sure you will find something useful. You'll definitely find something helpful. And if nothing else, you'll find something very entertaining along these last 25 videos that I shared. Also, make sure you tune in tomorrow for the biggest treat of them all. I have something really cool to share. I'm pretty darn excited. I hope you're excited. Let's get into today's trick of a video. So 3D printing, in my opinion, has really taken the world by storm. I mean, there are endless possibilities of things that you can 3D print. Literally, if you can dream it, you can probably print it, especially if you know how to 3D model and make things in CAD programs like Fusion 360, Tinkercad. There's a hundred of them. That's just the two examples that I use on a regular basis. So something that's more recently became super popular and by popular, I mean very popular is this system called Gridfinity. Uh, I'm going to pop out a bin here to show you. Gridfinity is bins, tool holders, just tons and tons of organization that you can do in 3D print. They all have uh, like a grid system on the back, right? You can see the cross on there. So this can sit down into an actual grid. Some of the grids have magnets embedded in them, so you could stick it into a toolbox drawer and then print all of these to hold your tools, wrenches, screwdrivers, pliers, sockets, ratchets, you name it, you can find it. It already exists. I've personally used this Gridfinity system to organize nuts and bolts because I'm really bad about organizing stuff. Again, that's kind of the theme of this channel, Workshop Wasteland. But to be honest, I was really sick of needing a nut or a bolt not being able to find what I need, knowing that I had it, and I, I'd end up going to the store and buying one. When I knew I had it somewhere, I just didn't know exactly where it was at that given point in time. So what I did was use this Gridfinity to organize a lot of the nuts and the bolts and things that I use. I personally love socket head cap screws. I think they look the best. I think they look really good when you use counter bores and sink them flush with the surface of a part. Obviously, if space allows, you can do that. Otherwise, you can't. But in my opinion, a socket head cap screw just looks the best to me. So if the opportunity is there, I'm going to use the socket head cap screws every single time. In case you didn't know, this is a socket head cap screw. It takes an Allen wrench or a hex wrench in it. And then, you know, they're just a standard bolt from there. But a countersink hole with a socket head cap screw looks really, really good. So with that said, let me pan the camera down here a little bit and show you what Gridfinity looks like and how I implement it into uh, organization for my home workshop. So as you can see, this is a metal uh, bin. We use these at work. We get wire connectors in them and uh, we're unable to order a refill kit for these. So what we end up doing is just ordering the whole new thing. And then we have these uh, metal organizers that really don't serve much of a purpose for us. They come with an organizer that looks like this in there. Dang, there's a fly buzzing around in here. Get out of here, fly. Uh, it has this wide slot on the side and then the big uh, bins, as you can see in here, which is great. They work really well for the electrical terminals, but for small nuts and bolts, they're, the bins are almost too big. This is stuff that I don't really have an organized place for yet. I'll get there eventually. But as you can see, I have M2 screws up here, M3, 4, 5, 6, some other various things scattered throughout here. But what I love the most about it is, you know, if I need an M5 by 25, I can just pull this bin out, close the lid and latch it. That way, if this gets knocked over, with any luck, it won't totally spill. And, you know, I would only spill this small bin. I did obviously label everything with a label maker. And to be honest, this works out really, really, really well. 
I did have to customize the size, you know, given the size and the, or the width and the, call that the length, I guess, of the container. I did customize the size of these bins so that they fit and uh, I can fill them up with the number of bolts that I had and all of that sort of stuff. But this did work out really, really well. This is metric. I have another one for standard. Uh, I have one for electrical terminals and stuff that I have. And like I said, this just works out fantastic. I'd encourage you to check this out if you have a 3D printer. There is a Gridfinity container for practically anything you would want to do. This is just one small example of what's available. Again, the best part is all free to download, very cheap to print. There's hardly any filament in this, even though it looks like it's a lot. It's really not hardly anything. And I just thought I would share, uh, if you are a Fusion 360 user, there is now a Gridfinity plugin. Uh, I've seen some videos of folks using it, and it looks to work really, really well. I think you can just put the dimensions of your container in there, tell it how many bins you want, and it's going to divide it up equally, and then you would just uh, export the STL file, hit go in your printer, and you should be ready to rock and roll. Uh, I've not personally played with it. I do use Fusion 360. I have the free uh, student version or whatever, and I use it all the time. I've just not played with the Gridfinity stuff yet, but from my understanding, there is an unbelievable ton of uh, options in that plugin in Fusion 360. So if you already have the program, I'd encourage you to check it out and see if you could find something useful for you uh, in there as well. And then I'm just going to show you a couple of uh, 3D prints that I've made along the way that are super useful for me and just to kind of highlight the practicality of 3D printing. So let's take a look. Uh, on my mini mill here, this is the table of course. This is a 3D printed mount that holds a stepper motor to power my table back and forth on the uh, X axis so that I have powered cross feed. This is simply 3D printed in PLA. It's been there the better part of a year through an entire summer in South Carolina in a very hot workshop. It's not broken, it's not bent, it's not warped. It's still holding up just fine. Uh, I've printed chip covers. I printed this thing to uh, house the controller for my cross, uh, cross feed setup. This worked super well. Um, I could just literally go on and on about 3D prints. R8 collet holder, a small drill organizer for some little stub drills. Like I said, I could go on and on and on. Hammer uh, holster right here so that whenever I'm tapping a part down in the vise, my hammer is, you know, right there, right in hands in my uh, hands reach. And I've showed you some of the things that I've printed on my lathe. I, like I said, the list just goes on and on. There are so many practical uses for 3D printing that if you don't have one, man, right now is a really, really, really good time. Uh, Bamboo Labs is running a fantastic Black Friday sale that's live right now. Their uh, P1S combo, the uh, A1 Mini, the regular sized A1, they're all really, really great printers. They're on sale for super cheap, multicolor options. I'm not getting paid to say this. It's a non-sponsored video. I don't even have a Bamboo Labs printer. They are great printers. They're on sale pretty darn cheap. Um, I'm literally printing right now. My uh, Elegoo Centauri Carbon. Got this thing cranking away. Over here is a Creality Ender 3 V3 SE, I guess it is. Uh, this is cranking away. Uh, I'm literally 3D printing stuff all the time. Whether it's for me, some trinket for the kids, something for work, you know, I just 3D printing is so darn useful that I don't understand why more people don't just spend the money and get a printer. You can fix things around your home, print gifts, uh, trinkets, you name it. There's literally millions probably of uh, free files that you can download. Websites like Thingiverse, Cults 3D, Printables, tons and tons and tons and tons of options. If you don't have a 3D printer, look real hard into getting one. They're not that expensive. The filament's dirt cheap. You're going to have a blast with it. And if you fix something around your house, it almost paid for itself uh, in the first, the first go-round. So keep that in mind. Uh, this will be the final tip video. Like I said, tomorrow I have a pretty awesome treat. Super excited to show you. As always, thank you so much for tuning in. If you haven't subscribed, please do so. You don't want to miss out this fantastic content that uh, I'm sharing. And as always, we will see you in the next video tomorrow. You don't want to miss it. We'll see you then.